Hello and welcome to Echo Collations Tutorials. I am Aaron and today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to set up your folders. Uh, so what we got to do is uh, just got to quickly run you through the process of how I would set up my folders and how to set up your folders for them to best work with Echo Collation without you having to change anything within it. So what we got to do is we're just going to create a new folder and we're going to call this our site's name. I recommend if you've got your data on a server or wherever you keep your main bulk of data, it's just doing exactly the same thing, but wherever your data is stored. So this is site name, and then in here, we're going to have our first session. So every session, we'll create a new folder to hold our sessions data in here, and I'll probably call it session one. Uh, follow, followed by the date which uh, the detectors were out okay. and in s the session folder you're going to have all your detectors uh, data in here so you're going to want to split it by each detector uh, so we'll just go for oh, four detectors C and D so that's our four detectors there, which we'll come back with on site. We've got all the data from them, but we need a stick somewhere. So once we've got A open, we'll then want to put A's data into here. So we'll want to keep the raw data separate from the, the data which we're going to be analysing. So we'll have a data folder, which we'll stick uh, the raw data into. And then we'll have a converted folder. This is where we're going to direct our conversion software uh, to put the, its outputs. So the data folder is what will go into your conversion uh, software and the converted folder is where you're going to get your converted software to output to. So what the conversion software is normally do is they'll normally fill this with folders for each night. So you'll have something like this and there will be for each night that that detector was on for and that's basically uh, it. what you do is you do the same for your B detector you'd create a D data folder and a converted folder and this is where you store B's data for that session this is also a great way to store your data because if you ever needed to look back in your data you can be all right so where is my data for such and such site? Is it in, right, so we're opening the site. Oh, what session was it in? What date were we looking for? All right, it's in session one. It was at the 3rd of May. You go into your 3rd of May and, oh, it was detector C and we've got all your calls in detector C. So it's an easy way to come back and find data as well. Everything's very organized and you're not going to lose data anywhere if you keep all your data this way. And you just do the same every month, create another session folder create a bunch of SN2 folders and then put your com uh, raw data and your converted data into each of the S uh, not SN2 sorry your detectors folders uh, in there and you know that's a great file system and it'll work perfectly with echo collation uh, this ties in with what I was saying in the analog tutorial under the count labels tool if you haven't seen the analog tutorial yet I recommend going to watch that um, the number of folder fields here, for number of folder fields, sorry, is set to three, and um, basically this corresponds to how many levels it has to go to get to the data. So we're in this folder, and you can see up in the top breadcrumbs bar, and here to convert it is one, to A is two, and to session one is three, and the session is where we'll run our count labels. Uh, settings from uh, so this would be when we click change here we're going to go for sessions not individual detectors so we're doing four detectors at once instead of doing everything individually and adding them all up or copying them all together to get that we just all run it for the session and we'll get a session wide count label file which will have all the data in it in text format for that whole session which then echo collision can go through and put all the bats into the correct places if there's anything else you'd like to know about this or any further questions or you want to use your own filing system, uh, give me a call or an email and I'll 
help you out as much as I can. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, this has been a quick folder tutorial and I'll speak to you later.